Good evening, Nancy. Hey, yes, hello, Eric. How are you? Hello, hello. Hello, Eric. I can hear you. Okay, it looks like that I can hear you like my earphone. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. I don't know. Elias, can you can you hear Eric? Okay, I guess something is wrong. No, Mr. Yeah, right now I, I can hear you perfectly. Okay, okay, so you're, you're working, it's, everything is back to normal. Well, how was your day? What did you guys do today? Elias, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Okay. Yeah, I can hear Elias. <coughs> Excuse I, me. Mm -hmm. So let's start with you, Eric. How was At your day? At the beginning, I couldn't hear you. Oh, well, this was nice. I just, well, well I was at home, but I was doing something. For example, I went, I, I, I didn't work today, but I went to the airport to do some things, things that I have to do there with a friend. So I took a friend there. Then I got here around, let's say 5.30, today in the afternoon. Then I ate something because I haven't, I haven't eaten nothing at lunchtime. So I, I ate something and then I just got relaxed waiting for the class. Is Thursday your day off? I mean, I mean Wednesday. Sorry, is Wednesday your day off? Well, really, not really. It could be uh, any day. But this day was I was off. Today, I'm, tomorrow, excuse me, I'm gonna be working tomorrow. So they change every week the day that you have off. Yeah, it could be Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. The weekends, it doesn't matter which day, or even holidays, it doesn't matter. For example, I'll be working on Christmas, but I think I will be off the New Year's Day. New Year's, New Year's Day, yes. At least at night. Okay. Do you, do you normally work at night, Eric? Yeah. 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 Uh, what do you say exactly? What did you say, teacher? Hello? Eric, can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I can hear okay. you now. Okay, I said, do you normally work at night? Ah, uh, yeah. For example, and, uh, we are working... Uh, shift of 24 hours or maybe 16 hours but usually 24 then you have one or two days off do you have a lot of flights at at night yeah in these days for example uh, american companies are coming at night delta united american all of them uh, anna uh, LA, uh, New Orleans, Miami. How's that? Bianca is just flying during the day. Ah, just Bianca during the day. Just flying during the day. Yeah. And American is, um, oh, well, the American Airlines uh, are uh, working or flying during the day also. They come at night. They are taking advantage, I guess, because. Bianca, it doesn't have a, a lot of flies today. 
Oh. I, I like heard, they used to be before. Right. I, I heard that Avianca was having problems with flights, that they weren't, they didn't have too many uh, flights right now because of the situation. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I guess they have a situation. <clears throat> It could be situations uh, about, I don't know what kind of situation really, there, but if they would like to have a more light, I guess they could be, they will, they could have it, but I don't know why they don't have a more flights. Maybe not enough customers in this moment. <laughs> not too many people want to travel. Yes, yeah, it could be. Mm -hmm. Okay. It could be. But uh, if, if that were the case, why, uh, 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 American companies are coming with more flights than they used to be. Probably more people from the U.S. want to come yeah. for Hermano Lejanos, but maybe not so many people from Central or South America want to come to El Salvador. Yeah, it could be. You're right. That That's the point. That's hey, the son. point, and I guess it could be. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> How are you, Hello. Sandra? How are you, Stephanie? I'm excellent. I feel full because I just have had my dinner. Hey, hey what did you have yeah. for dinner? Uh, some cereal <laughs> and plantains, beans, and a salad that I made with pasta and ham a very unusual dinner right cereal salad yes. <laughs> pasta plantains yes. I, I don't know i don't know what kind of, of this is not a dinner i don't know this is like a brunch <laughs> something like that but i wanted that so bad because i loved the way that my salad tasted okay uh, and Eric, what about you? What do you like to have for dinner? You like Sandra? You you don't care have breakfast, lunch, and dinner in the same food or or what? <laughs> well, what I used to eat as a dinner is a typical dinner like like we have here in El Salvador: eggs, beans, cheese, those kind of things. Stephanie, how are you doing? Karen, how are you? Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello. I'm pretty good, teacher. And you, how are you? Doing pretty good, pretty good. You know, I'm amazed that we only have one more class left. I'm, you know, it, it's amazing because I felt like, wow, four weeks have gone by so fast. So fast. Yes, you're right. Yeah. I didn't feel this month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, the year, the year was really slow, but the, the last four weeks, really fast. Yes. <clears throat> All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make um, some small groups. We have enough people now that we can make three small groups. And we're just gonna take a moment. We're gonna think about how and what we're going to do to maintain our level of English during the vacation because we know that we're not going to receive class after tomorrow. And we know that the new classes are not going to begin until January, sometime in January. So the question is, how do you maintain your level of English? What kind of things do you plan to do? Or are, maybe you don't plan to do anything. You know, just uh, what do you think? So we're going to make our uh, groups with our partners and just express our ideas. You ready? Okay. Yep. Okay. I'm ready. Yes.
because of my training. <laughs> but, ah, your training. Ah, you said this is this was your first day at job, right? Uh, yeah, but actually it was yesterday, my first day. Ah, okay. And how was it? It was cool. It was pretty cool. Uh, I met new people. Well, my new workers, I mean, I think. Uh -huh. And, well, my trainer is, is really vacation tomorrow. No, this coming vacation. This coming vacation? Yes. Ah, in, in this month? Oh, because okay. tomorrow we are finished our our classes. That's why uh, I'm asking you that. Uh, vacation of the class, but not the yes. work. Okay. Yes, 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 of the class. Ah, uh, okay. I, I, I am take a rest in my case. And now I don't know if I'm gonna get it. If I get a vaccine or not. Maybe I. Maybe come on, come I, I will on. do it or. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se dice inyección? Vaccine. Vaccine. ¿Cómo? Vaccine. Back B con B acá. Vaccine. Ah, ah, vaccine. Ah, ok. Vaccine. Yeah, vaccine. Ok, good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric, eh, I have a problem with a little, a little, a little answer in the platform. Can you help me? Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, uh, maybe I will try because I, you know, you know what I have a the the issue. What I have is I don't. Know. I'm not sure if it's on if it is only United States or Canada, but uh -huh. it could. Be, I think it could be both. Ah, that night. That's I'm, great. I'm not, yes, I'm not sure at all because, um. They haven't told that information yet, so I'm not sure about it. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, you're right. That's that's a uh, that's a good way to keep in, keep on learning and keep on uh, have a have a better fluency and improve my English. So I think so. I I I I won't have vacations, but I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. And the training is about um, about how to uh, let me see about the software, how to work the software. Ah, about the product. Aha, uh -huh. or, or maybe the software that you need to use. Uh, the program or I don't know. Well, um, I recommend you this one. It has that blue stripe. Ah, okay. Yep. I will go. Uh, I will go to the application. Yes, I was practicing with that application, but it has some exercises that are really difficult. But mm -hmm. I have gotten good grades. Yeah. I think that getting 60 is a good grade, but I'm, I'm not sure. But yeah. at least it helped me. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, I try to do exercise in Duolingo. I have the application in, in, in my cell phone. Yeah. And I try to practice every day. Okay. No, a lot, no, a lot of time is a, a few time, uh, but in in my case, I um the uh, Duolingo help me with vocabulary. You can you can add that also. My mother ah, told that, me that Pam. That Pam. Oh, okay. This is reporter speech, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my mother to... told me that Pam. Mm -hmm. That Pam. 
Oh, sorry. My mother told me that Pam had lost a lot of weight. Try now. <laughs> good, good, good. Thanks. It thanks. works, right? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And, and, and I have a little problem with the final exam too. And Let's go to the final exam right now. Final exam. Okay, let me let me check, please. Right. Let me check. And this is good. Okay, uh, in the in the part B, the final. And then, uh, like two, two exam, three online exams. So it is uh, it's not that kind of easy to to be there. <laughs> uh, no, it's not easy. And and you said, uh, are you working for for Telus or or what other call center? What is the name of the call center? It's, it is Concentrix. Ah, Concentrix. What is Concentrix? Is the the one uh, that is close to Salvador del Mundo? Yes, yes, that one. Ah, okay. So congrats yes, because but, your, uh -huh, your English thank you so is, much. Is, is good. <laughs> yes, but now I'm working from home because of the situations of COVID-19, but but it's okay to be here at home. No, it's nice, you know. I've been working from home since since March, and it's Crazy. good. Uh -huh, it's good for me. In fact, I don't I don't want to come back in January. <laughs> <laughs> Today I talk with my with my um, boss. And she told me, well, maybe in January, uh, you need to to come to the office. Ah, okay, you know, maybe we can talk in January. <laughs> we don't know <laughs> about the COVID. Yes, and, and it's more comfortable. Yeah, it's more because comfortable. Because you make, your, you make your, your schedule and... Hello, teacher. Oh, I couldn't hear you. Give me a second. Ah, uh, now I could hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I could. Okay, okay, perfect. <laughs> All right. So, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Here, just arriving home. A long day at work, huh? A long day at work. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Uh, the traffic, I, how is the traffic? Because I, I don't normally go out of my house, really. I, the well, mm -hmm. actually, right now, it's uh, a low traffic, but when I leave my home, it was uh, a hard traffic because I arrived home from work, but then I go to do some other business. So it was... Um, very hard when I leave at around like 5 p.m., 5.30 p.m., I think so. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I you know, I, I, I heard a couple people mentioning, but really, I, I like, I like working from home. I like it because I, <laughs> I avoid the traffic. I don't have to deal with the cars, the beeping, the people, beep, beep, ah, move, ah, <laughs> you know, it, it's, I feel more comfortable. I, just, I always have to, obviously you have to wear clothes and, and be normal and, you know, but I don't know. I, I feel that it's, it's, you save time. You save more time being at home. You have more time to do whatever you want, uh, to rest, to watch TV, or to do That's other true. projects. Mm -hmm. That's completely true, teacher. I love when I was working from home, <laughs> but then my boss told me that all the people have to uh, return to the office, so I had to do it. Too. Yeah. Yeah, I hope I hope a lot of companies change for next year. I hope they change and they say, "Hey, you know what? Let's continue working from home. Why? <laughs> why go to the office?" I don't think so because uh, right now we have the vaccine, so maybe around 
February we will uh, receive the vaccine here in Salvador or maybe earlier. I think Eric is going to receive it quickly. Uh, go ahead, Sandra. Go ahead. I heard from a doctor that works at the University of El Salvador in the hospital, Rosales, that the vaccine will arrive to this country in March. Okay, see. Yep. In, in March. March. Yeah. Mm. For me, that's better. I prefer I have more time to stay at home. Yeah. <laughs> but people is really irresponsible. I don't know if a lot of people will survive. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true because the vaccine is not 100%. And the people say, oh, yeah. okay, I put the vaccine, I don't care. Yeah, that attitude. Exactly. They're really arrogant. Mm. And we have a lot of people like that. A lot of people yes. that they say they don't care or they, I, you know, they don't believe that it's true or different things. No, all people that are going to Paris these days. Yeah, you look at, I seen a couple of people in pictures. They're like, oh, I, I, I saw someone who they went to get a tattoo today. And I said, okay, well, you know, if the vaccine <laughs> is in, in the air, it's definitely in the blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, before we continue, um, are there any questions about the platform, the exams, the, uh, I don't know, the lessons, anything where you're still having difficulty completing or, you know, some errors that are given, that the system is giving you? Hi, teacher. I have a question with the platform. Okay. I have a, a problem with the uh, final exam in the part C. In part C? Part C, uh -huh. the final exam. Uh, with the number uh, in the part one, if the number five, uh, the topic is the questions. Uh, I hate getting spams. Mm -hmm. I answered don don't I? No, no, wrong. it's wrong. It's wrong because it's not. It's you are you are talking to me. Imagine you are talking to me, Daniel. So uh -huh. say the sentence to me. Uh-huh. I had getting spams. Don't you? Don't you? Yeah, ah, exactly. Ah, okay. Because you are not talking to yourself. Ah, okay, teacher. Vamos a probar. Mm, Don't you? you? Uh -huh. Submit. Okay. Thank teacher. And and mm -hmm. I have another one too. Mm -hmm. In the part two? Same if the final exam and uh, part C in the part two, number three. Uh, uh, rewrite the sentences uses reduce relative clause. Mm -hmm. uh, number three, anyone who has a good voice is no. invited to audition for, for the choir. Choir. And I uh, and I answered. Mm -hmm. Anyone having? No, no verb. No. No, there is no verb there. Uh, okay. Anyone? Mm -hmm. I el el eliminate have. Correct. Okay. Anyone? And then what else? Are you, what are you going to put instead of uh, have? Anyone? But this is my uh, uh, this is my problem. Mm -hmm. In another case, I I only add uh, in the verb uh, ing. Uh -huh. But in this case, don't in, don't remember, teacher. No, in this Honestly. case, you, you you need to put a preposition. Uh huh. Think of it. Uh, how do you join the sentence together? What what other word can we use to join the sentence? Who is who is eliminate? Who uh -huh. has, mm -hmm. has same? Hi, has tam, no, se has también. Anyone? Uh, I don't know, teacher. Uh -huh. What other word do you think could be Jews? Anyone? So imagine. Uh -huh. 
imagine mm -hmm. is anyone 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 who has a car uh, is is invited to to apply for the job okay so instead of saying has the possession what is another word do you use for the possession has Wow, who has a good voice? Eh, the invited, but but no, no, no verb, no verb, no verb, no. Nope. Uh, uh, okay, uh, anyone good voice is invited, invi invited, invited. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Voy a probar. Ok, anyone, good boys. Is invited? Anyone, anyone, say again, Daniel. Anyone, good boys, is invited? No, a, be, a good voice, because in there, in, in the sentence, it says a good voice. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> Pero bueno, voy a compartir la pantalla por ahí, teacher. No, no, we, we uh -huh. go ahead, Daniel. We, we answered yesterday, so all of us, we know the answer. Everybody in the group knows the answer because we answered it yesterday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so between Any the word, between the word anyone and good, you need a word. You need a word to join the sentence. What could be, uh -huh. a, what is the word for the possession, for, for has? What's another word that you can use for has? No idea, Daniel? No, teacher. Okay. No, so teacher, honestly, you, no. You, okay, you're going to use the word with. With. Mm -hmm. Anyone with? Yes. With. With. Uh -huh, but oh, the, so the first sorry. stage, no, yes, exactly. That one. Yes. Okay, teacher. Wait, oh, you, you need a good voice. A good voice. Because the, in the sentence it says a good voice. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, teacher, thanks. You're welcome. So remember, it, the possession. Uh -huh. The possession is with. So anyone with a car, anyone with a girlfriend, this is oh, the same as anybody who has. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, teacher, saying this is the ultimate uh, wrong in the hey, platform. Hey. All yes. right. Okay, thanks, thanks, teacher. Ooh, finally, huh? Finish. Okay, okay, finish, teacher. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> you're welcome, Daniel. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Any other questions or anything else? Hey, Eric, I remember yesterday you said you had something from, I think it was lesson two? Yeah, I have some issues with uh, this section. For example, I know that something is missing in section one and section two and four. But I, I, was, I, I, I was trying to get into the platform like yesterday, but I can't. Okay. And I couldn't do some, I couldn't do anything during the day. Okay. All right. Well, try try again tonight, and if you have any issues, we, you know, we'll help you out tomorrow too. Did you have a question? That way, we, if you, oh, okay. that way, when you know which which section or or what you need help with, let let us know. Yes. Okay. Okay, teacher. And when is the last day that that we can uh, apply for the certificate? I mean, if we finish, or at least we have the eighty percent. On the platform, which yes. is the, the, the latest day that it comes. Um, I'm not sure if it's tomorrow or Friday. I have to check, but it's usually the the, okay. the last day of class or the following day. So those are usually the days where you have to have it. Okay. I'm I'm looking right now. Yeah, because in two courses before. Mm -hmm. I didn't apply for a certificate, so I, I don't have that certificate, and uh, I, I don't want to be in uh, that issue this time. Thursday the 17th, so yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay. that's what it says, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Okay. Yeah. At, so at midnight tomorrow? or after the class? <laughs> no, no, at midnight. Always at midnight. Always at midnight. Mm -hmm. Teacher, okay. so tomorrow is the last uh, class. Yes, tomorrow is the last class. <laughs> okay, perfect, teacher. Thank mm -hmm. you. So that way, uh, also, the, that way you can, you if you are going to go on vacation or your company is going to go on vacation, that way you start getting all the paperwork in for the next group. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Any other questions? Mm -hmm. No. Teacher, teacher, I have a question. Yes. How long uh, are we still to access, to have access to the platform uh, uh, at the end of the course? Mm -hmm. oh. yes. I I don't know the exact date, but usually whenever the course uh, closes for Insubforp is the last day that it closes for you. So if I think for Insubforp, it finishes on the 23rd. So then probably probably for you, the same date. Uh, okay. But, uh-huh. Uh if... Yes, yes. Ah, okay, okay. So if, if, if for Insafor, because I think that's the, the 23rd next week is the last day that they receive the documents. So um, if, okay. that's, why I, that's why I think that if this is the last day if they receive the documents, it's probably the last day that you have for, uh, to, to access to the platform. Mm, okay, okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, anybody else, any other question? Teacher, I've got a question, but it's not related to the platform. Okay, what's the question? Uh, do you know when are we going to start the, the next module? Which day, I mean? I don't, and, and even, in, I, even the office, I think they don't know yet, mm -hmm, because they, oh, it's okay. the, it's dependent on the budget for Insaforp for next year. That's one. And it's also dependent on how many people are registered for the course for next year. Because as you see, this group originally was like 30 people. But in the day, in every day in the class, it's, this month has only been five or six people. Sometimes uh, less. Mm -hmm. That's true, teacher. How many people do you say we are here? I think 30. almost okay. almost 30. 30? Mm-hmm. We are a lot. Let me hey, thank you. you. You're welcome. I can check in. in I tell you exactly because uh, it's easy from... Uh, oh, no. Right now we are 22. Right? There's a lot of people to care that doesn't come. Yeah. Yeah. Some people only work in the in the platform and that's it. Some people for their job, they, they can't come in or for some other, real, other reason, they can't come. Teacher, and I have a question. Uh, that people, uh, what happens if they just do um, just the platform? They, uh, uh, I mean, they get the certificate and are able to get the, are able to do the next course or we have, to do the class, like be pre here in the class? No, they, uh, okay, so there's the, the official passing and then there's the, the, the problem that they face in reality. Okay, so officially and academically, you pass. You have a certificate, you receive it, just like school. Okay, you, you pass, you have the grade. But in the real life, uh, usually I, I have, I have faced that usually the people that don't come to class are the ones that um, they always speak Spanish. They're not how they can't express themselves in English. They, they have trouble when someone speaks to them. They usually don't have enough vocabulary. They, they can't, ha they don't have fluency, but they understand they can read because they spend the time doing it on the platform.
So yes, some areas and some skills you develop, like reading comprehension, uh, you know, understanding. But when you have to speak, many times the people that don't come, then they have the problem that uh, how do you say or what's this or they they have to they have to do the Spanglish because English only English is too difficult for them. Yeah, this so. was my this was my problem, teacher. <laughs> I don't I don't enter. Uh, 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 anteriormente no no entraba a, la, a las clases, uh. Uh, but only but only work in the platform. For that I I. Uh, is difficult for me the affluence to speak affluence in english mm -hmm. yeah and 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 i imagine it's going to be even more difficult because the problem is that uh, maybe you are going back but your partners are going here and then many times what happens is that the people that are behind they don't speak because they are nervous they don't know the vocabulary they don't know how to participate so even more the people keep going more and more even if they advance but they don't advance mm -hmm. for for themselves yeah that's right so it it creates this, like this is, this is my problem this is my problem but uh, i i trying i trying because uh, i am stay over here yeah that that's the problem the problem is that really the only way to solve it is by speaking because in the end you can understand in mm -hmm. you can read but if you can't speak, most of the time, yes. it's, it, it's it is, not useful. Mm -hmm. It's so necessary to practice. It's so necessary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's only, it's uh, el único camino. It's the only path. The only path. And the only, uh-huh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, the Daniel, the, I... For me, the, the, the only tip or recommendation I can give you is mm -hmm. dissipate. That's, there's, there's no way to improve. There's no way to become more fluent with listening. You have to have to speak. You, even if it's a mistake, even if you're not sure, you have to try. And the second most important is uh, you need to stop with the Spanish because many times for the problem is that you feel nervous you feel you don't know and then you you say in spanish because obviously eric understands leonidas sandra the classmates understand spanish so you mm -hmm, say in mm -hmm. spanish and and then but the problem is that in the reality is you don't have spanish if you go to another place you don't have them imagine if you get a, an american a canadian a european mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There, there. there and you want to say in spanish hey, only speak english only speak english exactly so the same mm -hmm. thing it's it's mm -hmm. really it's really more of a decision a mental decision that okay i'm not going to speak spanish and i'm going to speak if you do those two things you will improve you will improve mm -hmm. your fluency you will improve your pronunciation and sometimes you know it, it's and for vocabulary and things like that the platform is great reading is great listening to music is great but for mm -hmm. fluency the only way to do it is by doing it by speaking Yes, that's right, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes uh, 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 I don't, I don't enter the class uh, because uh, it's very tired after the job, after work, and 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 y por eso no se entra, no entraba prácticamente. But uh, I, I am trying, I am trying to to enter. Yeah ever at the class yeah yeah it's a, it you know daniel really it's just a matter of, of of finding the time because you know it's like going to the gym okay mm -hmm. <laughs> going mm -hmm. to the gym is difficult but if you want you find the time okay, okay yeah teacher. because i think everybody here in the group works some people mm -hmm. work 24 hours not eight hours, not 10 hours, not 12. I think Eric is one who has, sometimes he works 24 hours and then even then he tries to still connect. But mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, it's only about priorities because yes, I'm tired. I, and you want to sleep, okay, go and sleep. But <laughs> there's an effect that the less you practice, the more difficult it is to learn. Oh, yes, that's mm -hmm. right teacher. Yeah, okay. but don't worry, Daniel. It, you know, the important is you have a new year next year, and the new year gives you new opportunities. 
Yes, yes. That's yes. right, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the, the only problem is that next year is the last month that you receive because the next year you finish. This is there's only advanced three. And advanced three, that's it. You if you don't practice in advanced three, it's going to be very <laughs> difficult for you to practice. I speak Spanglish. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, Daniel. It's true. It's okay. True. But that's the problem. That's why I say that the, the platform is sometimes difficult for the grade because, yes, you speak Spanglish, but technically you have the knowledge, you have the information to, for advanced level. The problem is you don't have to practice for advanced level. Okay. De nada sirve, teacher. I, it I, I, need, I need to speak, I need to hear, I need to write English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's okay. It's part of our culture. It's usually, it's the typical Salvadorian, right? It's, we, we don't worry, we don't <laughs> worry, we don't worry. And then in the last month, Ay, todas las tareas, Ay, I need to pass, I need to do like, and then, <laughs> <laughs> that's right, teacher. Yeah. So that's why I say it's more than anything, more than anything, it's mentality. It's, it's a decision of what you want and to do it. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. All right. So besides that, anybody else? Any questions? Eric, did you find the 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 unit, the lessons? What's going on, yeah, Eric? Now, now I yeah, now I can go in. For example, it's in one point eight, number right. four and number eight. Okay. One point eight, number four and number eight. The number Yes. Okay. Why aren't you talking? She asked me when what I wrote is she asked me why I have been talking. No, 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 no. Say again. Say, say, say the original sentence. Why aren't you talking? Okay. Aren't. Okay. Why aren't you talking? Mm -hmm. Why this, aren't you talking? This is in the present. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, it's present. so if it's in present, you only put in past. Remember, it's only one back, not two. She she asked me mm -hmm. why mm -hmm. uh, I mm -hmm. we're talking. No, we're no. Because it's I. I when I was talking. I she asked wasn't me wasn't talking. Wasn't. That's right, because the question is negative. Aren't. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. So see if it works. Remember the reported speech is one asked me in mm -hmm. why I wasn't talking. Correct, correct. Because reported speech is one in the past. Okay, it works. Now let's see number eight. Okay. What did you We didn't take the A train? Mm -hmm. So it is the sentence is in past, so I tried to put it in past participle. Mm -hmm. So they told me. They told me they hadn't taken the A train. Okay, that would be okay. That would be an okay answer, but it's not correct. The here because they are they they are giving you this information, not in this moment, not for so it's going to be the same form. <coughs> it's going to be the same auxiliary, didn't. The same one? The same one. Try it with the same one. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's see. My dog is barking. They told me. They told me they didn't take the A train. So, teacher, could we say that always the it is uh, very, uh, the auxiliary did, did not, so it would be the same, what, or just when it's an uh, order? It's more like an order, so when there are instructions or orders, then it's the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but the past here is in past participle or present? No, here is... Okay. Uh, they take. Uh, they they told me they didn't take because always with did, 
Remember, what did is the same, that the verb is in present tense. Okay. Second. Okay, it works. Mm -hmm. It's funny. It's funny and easier. Is now let me go to section two, I guess. I got something <laughs> else right there. Okay. Sorry, guys, that I'm taking your time. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so in section two, uh, mm -hmm, which one? Okay, just let me go in there. Now it's loading, and I'll see in a second. Okay. Nope. Okay, let's see. Yes, we are Maybe someone else has to say something. Okay, no problem, let's yeah. ask. While I'm looking at Any, the, the exercise. Anybody else have any questions or any comments or anything? No, well, so, for now, teacher. Not for now, well, Leonidas? No, Stephanie? No, not teacher. Okay. 2.2 .2 is the, the, the one that I need. 2.2, .2, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's let me have a look right here. 2.2, it is uh, about the, that we have to change the, the complete the new story with the present perfect or past tense form. Okay. Present perfect or past tense. So the, the sentence is, last night at about 1 a.m., the alarm, mm -hmm. parentheses, go off. So, What's the past of go? Oh, what I did well, was... Off. Correct. <laughs> Which one did you say? Yeah. Went off. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I remember that I did this answer before. Went no. off. Mm -hmm. Try it again. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a. So last night, uh, last night, about mm -hmm. one a.m., the alarm went off. Right? Went Correct. Off. Yes. It doesn't work for me. Just went. Went off. Well, off is already uh, written right there, right? So I just have to write the, the word went. No, no, you you need to write went off because it's it's is the the is the verb is went, but it, it has to go with off. It's a phrasal verb. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it works right oh. now. Okay. I got it. Now let me go to number four, section number four. All got right. Something else right there. Yeah, let's number. do it. <laughs> no problem, Eddie. We all have number. Problem. Yeah, it's section four or. or... <laughs> section yeah, four. section four. Okay, all right. Let me go there. Uh, floating right now. No problem, no problem. Uh, Stephanie and Sandra? Uh, you know what you... I have to say to you guys that I... Sorry, teacher. Go ahead, go. I'm sorry. I, I just making sure you guys uh, finished the exam. Everything is okay with it? Yes, everything is okay. Yes, yes okay. teacher. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Claudia, Daniel, you guys finished the exam. Everything is okay also? Yes, I finished, yes, teacher. teacher. Yes, teacher, I got my certificate at Blackfoot. Ah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> got any ideas? How about you guys? Everything okay? Everything okay, teacher. All right. Perfect. You see, Eric? We, we're here to help you. Yeah. No problem. Nobody has questions, Eric. Relax. We have winners. We have winners right here. <laughs> well, what, what I, the other one, that I need to complete is uh, 4.5 mm -hmm. is that 4. I couldn't 5. hear the one of the yeah 4.5 the, the the occupations the Alex occupations okay 
I try on her business, own business, but I for Alex. It didn't work. I think we mentioned yeah, that for one. Alex. I, I'm pretty sure we mentioned that it was Alex was a a, a business owner. Yes. Right? I, I, I remember. Uh huh. Small so put, business owner. Ah, that's that's the word. That's the word. Yeah. It had to be yes. That was the clue. It had to be a small business owner. Because if you put only business owner, it didn't work. Yeah? Because he said specifically small business owner. Small business owner. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me check. Now it works. Thanks a lot for your time and <laughs> you too, guys. <laughs> okay, a okay. Lot, a lot. There you go. You see? Ready to celebrate. Now it's done. Thank you very much. Okay, now you get that certificate. Don't forget. Don't forget because then later you Already. need it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, good. That's what, that, that, uh, that is a question that I have for the, the guys in, in INSA4. If I'm able to get the certificate that I couldn't get. You should be able to, but it's more complicated because I think what happens is you have to write to Inglés Corporativo. They have to go into the system and check your, your account and then they have to go ahead and make yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, but I, I'll think I recommend. It. Yeah, no, but write them. It, the, it, because everything is going to take time. So the, the faster you write them, the faster you yes. get it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, great. So I am so happy to hear that everybody is doing great with the platform and uh, that you are, you are completed, you're getting your certificate, almost all of you. Are, is there anything that I can help you with? Is there anything, any lesson that is not clear? Maybe you passed or you did the platform, but mm, you say, you know what? I, I still don't understand completely this part or this part is a little confusing. Is there anything like that? Well, just to make sure about uh, reporter speech, okay. you always have said that we have to go one tense back. For example, if present, I have to go past. If it's past, I have to go past participle, right? Yeah, past perfect, past perfect. Mm -hmm. past per right. Yeah, past perfect. Mm -hmm. And if, if I have past perfect, I have to go past participle. If, if you have past perfect, you need to go the same past perfect because past perfect is the last in the list. So if so, I have uh, present perfect, I'm sorry, if I have present perfect, I have to go past perfect. Yes, correct, correct. If you have present perfect, you go past if perfect. If I have will, I use would. Correct. If That's I have exactly. will, I, I use would. If you, if you have can, you okay. use could, exactly. Exactly. The only exception, okay. Eric, the only exception, and this is where it gets maybe a little confusing sometimes, is the exception is when it's an uh, instructions or order. So for example, a clean your room. My mother told me to clean my room. There is no past tense because it's a direct order for that. Like the same example? So you take it like... I'm sorry, go ahead. No, yeah, go ahead, Sandra. Like the example that was in past in the platform that told us that my mom told me uh, Pam lost uh, weight or something like that. And the response is the same, like the same tense. Correct, correct. Yeah. So that those are the ones that sometimes are okay. a little bit confusing. It's usually, yeah. it's usually when it's... It's not um, a comment or an opinion. It's usually when they're talking about information. That's usually like an, an order or something, an exclamation. That's usually when it's the same tense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I have a question. Uh, uh, why the teachers before in lev in low levels uh, they teach uh, taught us um, like 
reported speech without chief time like it's it is correct is it correct sorry or it isn't uh, maybe they were talking about that the, the example they were saying i love pizza he said he but we always put the uh, shift the time he loved pizza mm -hmm. okay okay yeah so you should always have a, a shift unless it's an order that's the only time you don't have uh, uh, the time that shifts or the time that changes. Okay, perfect. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, something else, for example, I have, I, I, I want to question about something, for example, the meaning or using about indeed. That means yes. That means definitely. Leonidas, are yes, you going to just, continue? Yes. yes. Exactly. So, Leonidas, are you going to continue the next course? Indeed. That means yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are some other meaning or just, just um, it depends on the... the it, it, it does depend on, on the conversation. It does depend, but it usually has to do with a positive form, like definitely or yes. These are the meanings that it has, like completely, uh, uh, mm -hmm, I'm sure, things like this. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Any other questions? No. Sure. Okay. All, teacher. All right. Great, guys. So we're going to continue tomorrow. And tomorrow we're just going to take, tomorrow we're going to just take a moment and chat and talk and discuss food and vacation and things like that. But always I will give a little space in case there is a question on the platform, in case there's a something that you forgot to ask today or something like that. Okay, guys? Okay. Like the virtual okay, celebration, no teacher. Teacher. the virtual celebration. Yeah, yeah. Bring, bring the bottle. Bring the, the bottle. Exactly. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, sounds oh, good. Sounds good. All right, guys. Have a good night. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.